Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just had to get that out of my system. Uh, so yeah, baby metal. One of the biggest goddamn surprises of 2014. I don't think anybody could have seen this one coming, nor could any of us have predicted just how good this wacky little idea turned out to be. And despite the usual squawking from the Puritans, everyone could agree that this was a brave new venture into the world of what metal could be, and we all agreed that it was generally a triumph. Which made me absolutely pissing scared for this follow-up. See, here's the thing, people. Baby Metal got super big specifically because they were super gimmicky. I mean, let's not kid ourselves here. Yes, the instrumentation was brilliantly played and gorgeously arranged. Yes, the hard work, dedication, and respect for the craft was evident in every single track. And yes, I feel like they deserved to get big, but that's true of a lot of great albums, and it doesn't necessarily mean they get the recognition they deserve. I mean, most people aren't talking about this band because of how insanely talented they were. Most people are talking about them because OMG, they're little girls! Little girls aren't supposed to matter! Also, their first album isn't so much a cohesive work as it is an amalgamation of all the tracks they've been working on for roughly three years. So there was a lot more time poured into that album than it might appear on the surface. This is their first attempt to write something that's truly its own thing. If there was any band that was going to fall prey to a sophomore slump, I was probably thinking it was going to be these guys. I mean, the shock value, for lack of a better word, that came out from their first album just isn't there anymore. They can't rely on the gimmicks. It's played out. So. This album has no choice but to stand on its own merits, so does it? Man, I just gotta be real with you, I love this fucking thing. All of the grace, finesse, and relentless polish from the first album is still here. In fact, it may even be more elegant in its execution. This record just sounds amazing. It's the kind of thing that pushes a sound system to its limits. Break out your most expensive headphones and speakers for this one, kiddies. This thing takes full advantage of them. It's sonically gorgeous, and the arrangements and solos are still just as brutal and crazy as ever. The guitar solos on Motor Resistance are so rich and vibrant. The drums on Sis Anger are so pronounced and absolutely assaulting. Hell, even the bass on Amore just punishes your subwoofer. I mean, seriously, I also have to respect how this record sets itself apart from the previous one. The whole, OMG, we're kids! We're children! Gitch has been toned down significantly, and while some people are kind of bemoaning this, I'm glad they went this way. A, because that gimmick obviously has a short time limit, and B, it just shows the general populace what those of us in the know already knew from the get-go. Beneath all the glitz and gimmicks and glitter, there's a fuck ton of genuine talent here, and it's nice that it can actually rise to the surface. Also, this album shows how much respect the group has for the metal genre itself. On this album, they leave behind a lot of the hip-hop and dubstep feeling around and switch it out for things that are more traditionally metal. I mean, the groove metal stomp of karate is an homage to bands like Killswitch Engage or Lamb of God. The proggier Tales of the Destinies is pretty much a straight up nod to the more complex stuff like Between the Buried and Me and Periphery. Hell, even No Rain, No Rainbow is a blisteringly beautiful monster ballad straight out of the late 80s and early 90s scene. Fuck, why don't we see more metal ballads these days? Am I the only one who misses that? And hell, The One, the closing track, sort of combines all of the themes they've been riffing on on this album into one of the most epic, sweeping, 
closing numbers I've heard all year, and this has been a strong year for closing numbers. I don't say that lightly, people. The song just punches a hole through the wall. It's only mildly hurt by the lyricist's very limited grasp on the English language, but look, I'm willing to stomach it and look past it because the sheer grace of the composition and performance here more than makes up for the small shortcomings. Believe me, I've heard worse lyrics in metal from people who actually did speak the language, and I think that's kind of the key to what makes this album so great. The shift in focus, the drawing away from their gimmicks to showcase their genuine talent, the gargantuan potential that this group has as artists, not just performers. I mean, I've seen so many people bitch that, oh, this one's not as cutesy or hilarious as the last one. Guys, please, please, pretty fucking please don't hold that against them here. No, this album isn't as adorable, just cut and dry, it's not. But this band genuinely has the talent, dedication, and sheer bravado to be so much more than adorable. And on this album, they've proven that they are way more than the pigtails. I feel like this is a bold and necessary first step in the process of maturity. And trust me, as this band matures, we are going to see some really, really amazing stuff out of them. I mean, come on guys, we can't all stay young forever. We gotta grow up sometime. And I feel like Baby Metal is growing up in the correct direction. Metal Resistance gets five Fuck Peter Pans out of five.